Hey everybody, welcome to the Model Building Workshop and I'm continuing with the BAE Systems Hawk and this is where we are with the fuselage. Added some fins to the back here, letting that dry. There's the wing. Have to drill out a few spots on the wing to make way for the underwing stores. There's a little bit you gotta take care of on the front of the wings too. I'm going to mount some stuff on that. I'll try to drop this in. Let's see how things go. And of course the uh, fins are going underneath. If I can find them on the model uh, sprues here, I'll show you. I don't think that's it. No. Let me get the right thing. That's all underwing stores. Yeah, There's a lot of underwing stores you can work with, which is kind of cool. Although I find when working with kits, it's the one thing they don't like about jet kits is all that underwing, you know, drop tanks, missiles, bombs. That's just like, oh, it's too much stuff to put on there. So it always surprised me because as a kid, I always thought, oh, let's load it up with everything. You know, it's cool. Um, yeah, so there's these, these fins. I'm sure there's a, an official name for what these are. I mean, I'm not an expert in jet aircraft. I'm more of a World War II kind of guy. But these would go underneath the, uh, the wing in these slots here. And something that I'd be careful of is how the decals are going to go on the plane. Because this has got these large numbers that are going to go under there. And the debate would be, do you put those fins on and then cut the decals to fit in between, or do you put the decal down and then put the, them in afterwards? Uh, it's a good question, and I, I think I mentioned this before, you know, that's where I goofed up with the Red Arrows Hawk version of this, is that I put those fins on and then suddenly found that I could not put the, the, the infamous Red Arrows logo underneath because you know, that big emblem because <laughs> I couldn't get the detail around those stupid fins. So something to think about, and there's no mention of that in the, on the decal. Um, yeah, well, actually on the decal sheet or the instruction sheet. So that's something you're gonna just suddenly discover like, <laughs> oh, surprise. So letting you know that now that you wanna pay attention and think about that before you proceed. Of course, some of these other uh, variants, like the British variant here, it's all black. You don't have to really worry because it's got very few decals. To get in the way. I mean, there's a selling point for that version. Uh, but the, and then you get this one, which is, you know, if you really like doing decals, go for it. Uh, if you're not thrilled with decals, that, that's a lot to try to, di to digest there. Okay, so I'm going to see what we can do further on here. All right, so there are these two pieces that go on the front of the wing. Like these little, I don't think I can show you, these little hooks are just so small. And again, for those of you that are really big into jet aircraft, feel free to comment as to what all of these parts are because I don't really know what they're called. My ignorance of uh, this kind of stuff is <laughs> kind of apparent. Um, I'm trying to get the, the lighting on here. Sorry, Service Pro is going to be a little finicky. All right, so this is supposed to sit on here somehow. Which I'm fine if it doesn't want to. Yeah, so I'm supposed to take a, a bit of an indentation out of this, the front of the wing for that part to fit in. Well, 
Yeah, that does not like me at all. Uh, I'm not sure what's up with this. Yikes. Okay, yeah, it seems to have it now. Yeah. Smaller fingers would be helpful. <laughs> Challenging part. I guess it goes like that. That's straight. <sighs> okay. You know, I'm going to pause while I figure this other side out. Okay, now I'm going to try to put the wings. I just test fitted it and it popped in pretty well. A little bit of convincing, but nothing horrible. Let's hope I can continue to get this to uh, cooperate. I like it when you can hear it pop. It's satisfying that it does that. Okay. Make sure these things are where they're supposed to be. I would have preferred a different way of mounting those those pieces <laughs> uh, than what they've got there but this could be a little more snug it's not bad I think it looks pretty good okay I don't have time for now I don't know go too crazy with this video, but I might be able to get the landing gear on this. We'll take a peek at that option. So it's interesting that the undercarriage does have the wheel separated, which is not the case for the tail, uh, yeah, the nose wheel. See, I'm thinking tail wheel, I think it's still stuck on World War II here. Um, so I find that interesting. All right, let me try to get this part. Go here. The attachment point's really heavy. Oh, yeah. I'm not happy with how that came off the tree at all. Ugh. All right, let me find it. The wheel is on a different. 
Those are the doors. Got pieces of scattered all over the place. Right? <laughs> all right, let's try. That's A. This is sprue F. This is sprue B. It's supposed to be on. It's supposed to be here. Oh, all right, it's just really small. I wasn't expecting it to be that tiny. Small gear doors. Okay. All right. Yeah, very small. Is on sprue A apparently. Yeah, there it is. Underside here. It's really tiny. Not much to look at there. Oh, pops in nicely though. Oh, thank goodness. All right, let me get the strut to support that. 20B. Better at figuring out what sprue is what by now, but I'm not. <laughs> 20 is this one. Careful, this is a delicate part. All right. This might be one of those tweezer operations. Let's see. And the wheel wells is a lot of uh, detail for the, the wiring and so forth. So if you're really into painting small stuff, you could probably have a lot of fun with that. Yeah, that's going to be a tweezer, tweezer situation. I'm facing away from the camera here. Getting it out of the way here. Hang on a little bit better. That fits in pretty well. Oops. Oh, come on, you just did. Now you're moving. <laughs> Try 
that. That's rather tiny. Tiny. All right, I'm gonna try to get the other one here. I'll pause for a second. All right, so I got the wheels on there now. I'll try to put the doors on and we'll call it a day there. These doors are a bit bigger to look at. One of those tiny ones that are on the landing gear legs. Okay, so it's best 22, right? Double check here. Yep, 22. Gives you a diagram of how to properly line this up. people. <laughs> That's not to stay on, never mind. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to try one more. And we'll call it a day. Talk about, I'll talk briefly about the weaponry that you can put on this plane. Because I generally what I like to do is load these things up with as much gear as you can. Uh, I know what I'm doing is an Indian training plane, but I whoop, I may just load it up it's as if they're training for a lot of things at one, at one mission. <laughs> <laughs> I think it just looks cooler. The angle's accurate, but to some degree, if it's staying, I don't want to mess with it too much. And there's still a lot more to do. I got the stabilizer to put on, some more cockpit stuff going on there, all the underwing stores. So yeah, there's quite a bit to it. It fits together pretty well. Uh, some of the attachment points are a little rugged. You know, they're heavy, and you have to really be careful not doing your cleanup. Uh, I didn't like the way the uh, landing gear legs were on the tree, so be careful of that. All right, so you have a lot of. Uh, choices here. So there's air-to-air -air missiles with the fins separately. Uh, you got the gun pod which goes underneath and then there is a choice of two types of uh, underwing tanks. There's obviously a longer one and a shorter one. And so you've got a number of different choices there. And I believe there's even decals for those small pieces as well. As you can really load it up. So there's an option here of the two adding more than one set of air-to-air -air missiles, you know, optional drop tanks, 
what you'll see here for that. So number of different options with that, which is kind of fun. And like I said, it shows you the decal placement of things that would be on the drop tanks if you wanted to go that far and on the gun pod. Depending how detailed you want to get. So I think there's a lot of uh, a lot of fun possibilities with, with this kit. Okay, I think we'll end it there. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thanks.